Hello everyone, Reverend Deanna here for this midweek reflection for the first week after Easter Sunday, uh, first week of the season of Easter. I thought I would take it outside today, um, mostly because the weather's finally kind of nice enough, minus the wind. I hope that's not whistling too badly. The weather's finally nice enough for us to be outside. Um, as I was thinking of this midweek reflection and what to say, I was really kind of struggling to come up with things because I'm tired and nothing to be, you know, concerned about. Just normal, you know, like if you, if any of us have had a busy and fulfilling, fulfilling week, you're tired afterwards. And uh, I just couldn't seem to get my brain to wrap around anything worth saying. And so I thought I would come outside. And as I was thinking about my own exhaustion and last week, the events of last week, and what I might say to the people why I needed to get outside, I thought, you know, maybe this is how the disciples felt after Jesus' death and resurrection. Everything was so unexpected. Everything that happened was so unexpected. Um, who would have thought that a person preaching love and acceptance would get put to death? It would be considered a threat. But he was. And, uh... to move, to process, because I don't know if you know or not, but walking really helps us process things. And beyond that, even just to see and hear and feel life around them again. Um, if you have lost someone close to you, you know that that's one of the hardest things, but also one of the most needed things, is to go on and feel life around you again. It fills the gaps, the, uh, the silence, the dead silence, uh, the dead silence that has left my grief. It fills the gaps, and the harder pieces it reminds you it draws you into living again. So I don't know. Yeah, they're still there. There's two Canada geese in the little pond behind me. Why well, I chose to stop here. Um, and just, and you can hear traffic noise and geese and dogs and wind. Signs of new life. Signs of life. And the reminder that... Despite, you know, swing, you can see, despite what feels dead and frozen in us, around us, that we are called to have the courage to live again. Um, and 
sometimes that's really hard. Uh, sometimes I find that the world feels very harsh and cold and um, it's really hard to speak that love and that hope into it. But this is how we do it. One small step of life at a time. And so this week, I encourage you to look around as we emerge. That is going to be our Easter theme. As we emerge into spring. As we emerge into the Easter of season and the way that God calls us to live. And as we emerge in our physical churches of contemplating the future of our ministry together and often that draws us into unexpected and unfamiliar territory that can be really terrifying and feel so uncharted and lonely but that's the whole point of Easter is to remind us that we are not alone. We are never alone. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. So we'll get some beeps here. And yeah, so we're not alone. We're never alone. There are signs of new life everywhere if we choose to see them. And so go forth, friends, and be that sign of new life for someone who needs it. Go forth and find that sign of new life to fill your hearts with joy and hope this Easter season. I'm sorry for the bouncing. <laughs> So, that's my short midweek reflection for this first week after Easter. Take care, and God bless. Bye, everyone.